Hello everyone and welcome. <coughs> um one of the daily dose. Now for the purpose of this particular video, Spirit wants me <coughs> to talk about these birth charts. These birth charts. Now I keep bringing this up because this is something that can help navigate your life. This is something that can help determine your prosperity and your level of prosperity in your life. I've said before that our birth chart is our map, our navigational tool to help us navigate our star seed energy through this plateau in which we have to navigate through this time. I've said before that for those of you who don't know, that we are entering into what's known as Lion's Gate Portal. The Lion's Gate Portal is a very phenomenal rare portal for this 2021 is Piscean Age because we've had several portals come for the twins and we have certain twins who are coming together at this time and see what's important is that oh excuse me that the twins understand that their soul's alignment and purpose for entry into this portal is so that they can birth the divine creations and the divine ordinances that God had placed in position for them to receive their prosperity. And that's the reason why they have been going up against so much in the areas of demonic attacks and demonic energies trying to keep them bound. When you understand that the Lion's Gate portal is the portal that opens up and accesses your prosperity. It's an 8-8. That's prosperity. The Lion's Gate portal's purpose is to usher you into your era of prosperity. Now, God had designed the portal for the twins to walk together and go up. Okay? That's how the portal was supposed to work. But because we have so many masculine energies, as well as feminine energies, who are not willing to go into their divine statuses. They have become deceived, distracted, misdirected off of these paths that are supposed to lead them into this landscape. Here. Now, a lot of people don't understand how important this portal is, but when you know that God is trying to birth something brand new that has never been done before, and that spirituality and coming into one's true authenticity and all of these things are movements of the Spirit, just like the day of Pentecost that is taking place where God is waking up His chosen and elect few. That's how come he's calling them together the divine meetings. Have that 144,000 and elect righteous star seed light workers. But what we have to understand is that the same way that God can call something into being, so can the false angel of light. The false angel of light job is to deceive. 
is a false angel of light, a distorted masculine, a distorted feminine. Witches and draconians and all of these entities who are dressing up in facades and operating as copycats. All to try to get themselves in position to steal something that God has divinely ordained. But they are deceived because they really believe that they have the ability to steal something from God. And that's a real sick mentality. When you have the audacity to believe that you are strong enough to steal from your creator, that's delusion. That means you don't understand the energies in which you're working with. When you understand that Satan has to go before the throne of grace to get permission from God to fuck with the anointing. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Just like Job, who went through everything that he went through short of death, Satan had to go to God first and say, let me try your servant Job. He had to first bow down before the great I am and then plead his case. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Ain't no demon in hell coming up against you unless you go to God first. They can lurk in the trees and they can hide in the clouds. They can hide in the shadow of the dark. And lurk in the shadow ages. And you can see them. And they can dance or see you. They can see you through your mirrors. They can see you through your phones. They can see you through a glass of water. Because when you understand the casual energy has the ability to move like a ghost and recreate in something else. The astral form. It's energetic. It's a force. And this is why you need to understand that in the fifth dimension of vibrational energy, fifth dimension is up here. Ain't no lotion. <coughs> fifth. This is where the God heads is at. This is where the angels go. This is where the spirit animal walks to and fro to protect. That's where my Shakura and Couture go with me whenever I go into the fifth dimension. They are my spirit animals. They travel with me. When I go to battle, Shakura and Couture go with me. They are spiritual protectors. Just like Enoch is my God. See, God don't send you nowhere unprepared. I got my ancestral lineage at my back. And I got my mama, sister, and grandma at my front letting me know what's coming. Because God has given them permission to help light my way. When you understand the power that you wield, and you understand how it works, and you understand that there are dreams that take place in the fourth dimensional energy which is running parallel with the third dimension, That's your dream state. That's your subconscious. It's that fourth dimensional energy. It's that casual energy. That's that energy where when you go to sleep and you go through situations, that shit feel like it's real. Because you're on a parallel plane. And you are existing and coexisting at the end. One is in the spiritual form and one is in the 3D form. This is why it's important to keep your energy levels high. Because in this dream state, no 
those people are locked. This is the matrix state right here. Eyes wide shut. Walking through life as though you're not there. Because your dream state and your 3D state have linked and become your reality. Your spiritual man is your fifth dimensional energy, which is above your fourth dimensional energy. As you elevate your spiritual growth and knowledge towards God, you are giving a special purpose to travel to the fifth dimensional energies and suck with God. Now, there are people who travel into the fifth dimensional energy and suck with Satan. But that's on the low vibration of sin because for every pro, there's a con. For every yin, there's a yang. So, the same way there's a spirit of light, there's a spirit of dark. Same way there's a positive witch, there's a negative. Everything has a light and dark aspect. These need to be balanced in order for the spiritual man to receive enlightenment and grow to the sin. In order for the DNA within you to be ignited, the transfiguration to come into being for your divine creation that God has placed in you when He so put a beacon that's how come when Enoch talks about the stars and the holding places and the ones that did not answer and how they are being punished in the land of nothingness meaning no imagination of no no creativity total blackness craving desires Saying no way out, no light in the tunnels and the depths of hell. Absence from God, absence from light, total darkness. No guidance. Total darkness to feed in the lowest of the vibration of the angels. So that's that was a real place. And my soul he didn't say. Is alive, everything works under sacred change. Water in the sky, water on the ground, masculine and feminine energies. Always. But I wanted to talk today about Jupiter. Because it is understand that Jupiter is a reference. But what does Jupiter mean in our astrological chart that we should even be concerned with whether or not Jupiter is moving forward or whether Jupiter is in retrograde? What does it mean to us? Well, we all know that we are aspects we are creations of the Most High God, and we are star seeds. We have been sent here on a divine mission from God. We have divine purposes and reasons for being here. One of our major reasons for being here is to raise the vibration. The other reason is to learn to give unconditional love. To self and others. To be of service to mankind. In order to help to raise the vibration of the people. Towards one of who God is. And the oneness. And the creations and gifts. That's the ultimate agenda.
that each white worker star seed by feminine, by masculine. That's our primary objective for why God has us here on planet Earth. Because for many this century we did not come from here, we come from Tiamat. Tiamat is in another solar system. This planet Earth was broken in half. Evidence can be seen in the astral blocks. This planet Earth is placed in the solar system. The watchers were supposed to watch us. And a third of the angels were cast out of heaven. A portion of those who were cast out of heaven came into the earth and did make it the goddess of men. They violated the great rule of God. And since they violated the great rule of God, death and punishment had to be remedied. These were immortal beings to die. So what God did was shackle them in chains, placed them under rocks, bound them in the tombs of the nothingness. Yes. We have two abysses that we can regularly see. One is the abyss of the solar system. The other is the abyss of the depths of the sea. There's a reason that the deeper you go into the sea, the stranger and the more illuminate the creatures are under the water. Underwater is one place that most people don't go because it is said that this is the grounds of the side. Side was real. Side was Hades. Poseidon was the water god. Poseidon was a person who they blamed Philip and knew the triangles, but when you understand that everything is water and God called the water to cover and to go do a job, and then he called for the sea creatures of the water. First of all, the depths of the abyss is where God labyrinth of this God of God. Just like the dimensions of the sky. God ordains these things. These are not just things that just happen to be there. When God talks about the depths of the abyss of the deep, the depths of the abyss of the ocean, talking about the southernmost part of the dimensions. The southern most part of the dimensions. The Neptunian and All of these things right on the circle of the abyss Neptune. Jupiter is your personal expenditure. Your ability to grow. It's where you see yourself going, your horizons. Stupid energy. This is why your North Node and your Jupiter work together. Because it's the realms of 
Where do you see yourself? Do you see yourself building empires? I do. Do you have a billionaire's mindset? Do you understand how the star can direct you? Billionaires use astrology. Millionaires don't use Your Jupiter are those things that bring good fortune and good luck. Now it's running on the retro. You know why? Because we're heading for the landscape pool. Because when it goes into motion, it's going to go with perpetual speed through the landscape pool. So right now it is moving it is moving in retrograde because it's trying to give people an opportunity to get this thing right before it has to propel forward through the Lion's Gate portal. It's going back to pick up the pieces for the ones who didn't make it the first time around. They shall come right now. It is important to understand what's going on in your energies. If Jupiter is retrograde right now, that means God has stuck a stick in this thing for you to get this shit together before he takes the stick out and allows Jupiter to fly through the portal. Because once Jupiter to fly through the portal, you can't get on. Because people will be on their way to abundance, to generational wealth. Jupiter deals with the realms of where you see yourself going in the future. And it's in retrograde right now. So y'all got to understand how important this is. How God is setting the scene up. And trying to, that's how come this tower is happening right now. That's how come people's lives is falling apart right now. Because we're heading for the Lions Gate portal. And y'all need to understand that Mer the Jupiter is in retrograde. That means it's going backwards. Because God has stuck a stick in there. To keep it from perpetual motion forward. To give you a chance to get your shit on board. And figure out what you want to do. Because once God takes the stick out. And lets Jupiter go. Jupiter is your dreams. And the horizons. Of what you want to achieve. In your life. Jupiter is the wave of generational wealth. Jupiter is the reason that you have been building and stacking and putting things in place. It's because Jupiter is in retrograde right now. I got no joke, y'all. Telling y'all what school then showed me and then told me. And if you ain't ready to get on board, and go through this Lionsgate portal, you will not have generational wealth. You will not be able to partake in the abundance of God's divine blood. 
That's why we're in retrograde right now. That's how come he's creating all these towers for people to pay attention to what he got going on. That's how come he needs you to let go of materialism and all this bullshit and detach. Because it's time to move. We got to go. You see my hand? You see that? God is saying it's time to go. It's time for us to go into our divine life. It's time to go. He's calling us. And if we don't move forward into the light of the divine, we're going to miss these opportunities. God is shining his eternal light on us to say, come on. It's time to build generational wealth. It's time to go into prosperity and claim. It's time to go into the light. Y'all keep playing. It's time to transform and understand that you are pure. God wants to transfigure you. You see my arm? God wants to transfigure you into a being of light, into pureness that is light. And we are not all ready. But the ones who are ready, time to go. Let the Spirit of God is ready to move as we go into this landscape pool. You need to understand that your personal expression process of the realms and horizons. This house brings good fortune and good luck. This is the house of optimism This is Jupiter. This is the plan of your life. So, start getting this shit in line because we're running out of time. Whoa, we're close. This gate ain't gonna stay open. Y'all need to get on board because Lion's Gate getting ready to close. God going to open it. He's going to send us through with perpetual motion. And we're going to come out brand new. Play with it if you want to. I'm saying I didn't tell you. We're all do this. Remember, it's time for us to get in this Lion's Gate close.